The Formula Drift Championship presented by Blackview heads south to the infamous Road Atlanta for round two of the eight-stop championship. Chelsea Denofa shocked the drifting world by dominating round one at Long Beach, but now he'll face his first test as series leader. A stacked 32-car field of the world's top drifters will battle it out at the toughest track in the series. Can Chelsea stay on top or will a new leader rise? Find out now only on UTI Formula Drift presented by Blackview. Hello Drift fans and welcome to Road Atlanta for round two of UTI Formula Drift presented by Blackview, the world's premier drifting sanction body. I'm Jared Dienda. We're here at this iconic track, but let's backtrack to Long Beach where Chelsea Nofa grabs his first ever podium and win. Frederick Osmo defending champion grabs second and Ken Gushi grabs third. Now, here in Road Atlanta, top 16, they're not going to be there. They got knocked out in the top 32. Well, this is Road Atlanta. Some of the best fans in the drifting world, let's be honest. But before we move on to head-to-head -head action, I throw it to my co-host, Ryan Sage. All right, well, thanks, Jared. I'm down here on the track at Road Atlanta. We've been coming here for 13 years, so what is it that makes this track just so challenging? It can't be the 110 mile per hour entry, the off camber turns, or the horseshoe. It now is actually the tire smoke, the incredible amount of white tire smoke that comes off these vehicles, especially when they leave the horseshoe and mash the throttle down the hill towards the finish line. If you're a chase driver, you cannot see at all, and you're using your muscle memory to navigate through the last inside clip to the finish line. So who's going to be the guys on top of the podium tonight? It's going to be the guys that can figure that out and get through this course without even thinking about where they're going. Before we get to that and all the action in the top 16, let's go on board with our Blackview course preview. Welcome to Road Atlanta and this is your Blackview course preview. So you're going to pull up to the line, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, as fast as you physically can. Then you'll clutch kick in with a quick handbrake, drag the car as much angle as you physically can to slow yourself down, power through the first clip, up the hill, not letting off the gas all the way until you can see the cones. You flick back up the hill, stay in the gas all the way up, hard braking on the brake, push it out to the outer zone, downshift to second. From there on, it tightens a lot, it just kind of slows everything down, but even though it's tight, it's not a super easy way around that tight section. There's definitely a designated line. Fill the outer zone, floored back through the inner zone, switch to the left hander and the last two turns are pretty much just floored. And that's your Blackview course preview. Drifting is the only motorsport in the world that is based on judging. So let's break down how that works. In head-to-head -head battles, the lead driver is supposed to run a specific judging line with as much angle as possible. The lead driver is setting the pace, but the chase driver is supposed to utilize the lead driver as a moving clipping point. Wherever the lead goes, the chase should go too. After two runs with each driver leading once, the driver that was the most consistent, most aggressive, and was able to show clear dominance over the other driver will win the matchup. For rules, criteria, and more information on Formula Drift, head to www.formulad.com. Well, Ryan, the stage is set. Here is our top 16, and we are going to see a doozy right out of the gate. Vaughn Gittin Jr., former Formula Drift champion, going against another East Coast kid. That is Jeff Stone Cold Stoneback. Well, Stoneback did not have the performance that he wanted coming out of Long Beach. Maybe a little bit of redemption here, but he's going up against a former champ. Yeah, Vaughn Gittin Jr. qualifying first. This is quite a contrast from last year's debut in a new car, and he looks like he is ready to take this thing. A huge gap between the two drivers, Ryan. Big separation here from Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Jeff Stoneback going up the hill you can see Stonebeck losing some angle but getting keeping that big distance between the two drivers big distance big angle and he's lifting that front right wheel off take note of that and look at the smoke just pluming off the back of that Ford Mustang Vaughn Gittin Jr. looking consistent and smooth as he wraps around that last inside clip and across the finish line. As we take a look at it again in that horseshoe, Stoneback does catch up, but as we were talking about Ryan, that smoke becoming an issue. Stoneback navigates through it, but now he's going to lead, and he's going to throw some smoke in Vaughn Gittin Jr.'s face. Here we go. A lot of work ahead of Jeff Stoneback here as they head down this 110-mile-per-hour entry. Good initiation by Stoneback, uses the whole course, 
tight on that clip. Vaughn Gittin Jr. right there, 97.9 miles per hour. Staying close as Vaughn Gittin Jr. as they make their way up the hill. Stoneback trying to max out the angle as he comes up and gets right into that outer zone. Good pressure being applied by the Mustang in the horseshoe, ironically, as Jeff Stoneback pulls a little bit away, but Vaughn Gittin Jr. I have to say is probably going to take the win run. Gittin coming through that smoke cloud as both drivers wrap around that last inside clip and across the finish line. There you see it past that first front clip. Jeff Stoneback right there. Well, let's go to the Universal Technical Institute judging board. And there it is, Vaughn Gittin Jr. gets the win. Would have liked to have been a little closer on the door, but you know, first battle, not trying to beat myself. But uh, man, I'm just pumped. And uh, man, hats off to Jeff, because he's just, he's a guy to watch, man. Formula Drift on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Universal Technical Institute. Chosen by industry, ready to work. By Blackview, over the cloud. And by Hand Cooked Tire, driving emotion. Welcome back to Formula Drift. This is Advanced Auto Parts Road to the Championship presented by Gum Out. Remember, this is only round two of eight, but I got to tell you, some of the best driving goes down here at Road Atlanta. Next up, Tyler McCory versus Yuha Rintanen. Well, Tyler McCory qualifying ninth, Yuha Rintanen 25th. Both guys battling it out, trying to make it into the grade eight. Well, here we go. The Rock out front, Tyler McCory, Mobile One, safe craft vehicle as Yuha Rinton locks it up. Can he? Oh, man, salvaging something there. Big mistake there by Yuha. As you can see, Tyler McCory throttling down all the way up the hill. And another mistake by Yuha as he almost makes contact with Tyler McCory. Yeah, Rinton and unfortunately getting sloppy there in that chase position. But Tyler, like a Rock, is bringing it on home. Great performance there by McCory. Big smoke cloud from Tyler McCory, and you can see just how difficult it is to see from Rintanen's point of view. Well, there's Tyler McCory around that first clip. That's where Yuha locked it up, but he did keep it between the lines. But now we're going to change the order with Yuha Rintanen having some struggles there. How is Tyler McCory going to chase him down? Well, big hill to climb here for Yuha Rintanen as he comes through the chicane down the hill and into initiation. Yuha using the whole course, initiating at that cone two marker. Tyler McCory right there, 92.4 miles per hour ride. Nice job by Tyler, keeping his sights on Yuha Rintanen. Good angle by Rintanen, trying to pull something out here as he goes deep into the outer zone number two. Definitely looking a lot more settled and more comfortable in that lead position, but cannot shake Tyler McCory. And remember, oh, oh and just as we say that, Yuha shuts her down. Well, another big mistake for Yuha Rintanen as he locks it up down the hill. He'll probably receive a zero for that, and it should be an easy win for Tyler McCory. All right, let's go to the Universal Technical Institute judging results board. Andy, Ryan, and Brian, it's your name as Tyler McCory gets the win. So we just finished uh, top 16 against Ruha Rintanen. We're moving on. You know, we had a really good battle. I haven't run with him before, uh, but I think he did a great job. Had a couple mistakes, but we're moving on. I'm stoked to be in the grade eight. All right, moving on to our next battle. Looks like the battle of the beards here. Chris Forsberg versus Pat Mordaunt. Chris Forsberg has a great amount of success here at Road Atlanta, but Pat Mordaunt has taken out Forsberg before. And going out in the top 16 in Long Beach, Forsberg needs a good finish here at Road Atlanta. Here we go, Forsberg initiates way back there at that cone three marker. Pat Mordaunt is right there, gets into the dirt, 101 miles per hour. Now heading up the hill here, you can see Forsberg mashing the throttle. Nice angle, good consistency, goes very deep in the zone, but look at Pat chasing him down. Pat Murdaunt, the white shadow, nosing in with that 350Z on the NOS, energy 370Z of Forsberg. We have one great battle here, Ron. Oh! Excellent throttle control by both drivers as they navigate past that last little cone that was on the ground there, but you can see that's what caused it to go on the course as Pat Murdaunt hits it and knocks it into the track. All right, let's alternate the order here. Pat Murdaunt, that drift paddock, Falcon tire, 350Z. Chris Forsberg on hand cooked tires. He's going to be chasing down Pat Murdaunt. Forsberg eyeing up Patrick Mordaunt as they head down the hill into initiation. And Patrick Mordaunt, oh, a little flub right there on the inside clip. Gets into that red dirt again. You see it flying. That's obviously not smoke. That's those signature red dirt being thrown up in the sky. Pat Mordaunt gets into that outside clipping zone, tightening it back up to the front. Fourth, oh, and Pat Mordaunt spins. Well, just unable to hold the angle there. Patrick Mordaunt spins out in front of Chris Forsberg, and this should be an easy win for the former champ. Locking it up there and saving the cars. Let's take a look at the Universal Technical Institute judging results board. There it is. Chris Forsberg gets the win. He was right there, so he was keeping up with me. We put a little bit of gap on him down the hill, um, but then on his lead run, he got into the dirt a couple times and ended up spinning in the horseshoe, so we got the win. Let's keep it moving here in the top 16. Our next battle, Adamus Odie Bakshis 
in that ARC Performance Hyundai Genesis against one of the guys that has styles for miles, Forrest Wang, car number 808, the lead scientist of the Get Nuts Laboratory, Hankook Tires, S15 Sylvia. Well, no doubt two championship contenders here. Odie Bakshi's taking the lead. Good initiation here as he wraps nice and tight on that inside clip. Odie Bakshi's looking very strong and very quick going up the hill. Forrest Wang kind of struggling to keep up with him. Well, here we go. Odie deep into that second outer zone. Forrest trying to reel him in now as they wrap around that inside clip and down the hill. I got to say, these guys are two real contenders for future championships, and it could be this year. Because remember, Odie won here last year, Ryan, his first ever win. Well, both drivers come across the finish line, but the high points right here was the consistency by Odie Bakhtis out front, establishing a gap and maintaining good line and angle. Let's alternate the order here. Forrest Wang, who qualified 12th, compared to Odie Bakhtis, who qualified 5th. Forrest Wang coming down the hill. Ooh. Getting real close there as we enter initiation. Big angle by Forrest Wang, but Odie Bakhtis has got him right there on the back bumper. Yeah, look at the comparison. 94.7 miles per hour. Odie mirroring him everywhere he goes, coming into the horseshoe. You can see Forrest Wang cannot get away, and he enters the second outer zone too early. Makes a big mistake. Odie adjusts and gets right back on his door. Gets into the dirt as Forrest Wang. Odie, he makes a little mistake there. And around that final cliff, Ryan. So Forrest Wang in the lead, missed times the second outer zone, goes off course and allows Odie to tuck up on the inside. Great job by both the guys, but yeah, Forrest Wang, that could be the nail in the coffin. As we look at the Universal Technical Institute judging results, Odie Bakshis gets the win. So yeah, I went out there with Forrest for top 16. Lead run, everything went smooth. Went out to follow, it got a little tight at the horseshoe. Uh, almost choked up, a lot of speed was uh, scrubbed by Forrest, but all in all, worked out beautifully, got the win, moving on. Formula Drift on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Nexen Tire. Driving tomorrow by FormulaD.com. For merchandise, tickets, and series information, head to FormulaD.com. And by the U.S. Air Force. Aim high. Welcome back to round two of eight of the Formula Drift Championship presented by Blackview. We have Bradson, Georgia, better known as Road Atlanta. The sun is definitely going down, but the fans are showing up and they want to see some more fire on track. Alec Honnadale, Jeff Jones. Jeff Jones barely making it in qualifying 31st. Alec Honnadale qualifying 18th. Here we go. Well, big hopes for Alec Honnadale. A lot of people talking about this young kid as a future championship contender. Let's see what he can do against Jones. That supercharged V8, you can hear it banging away into that first front clip, but don't count out Jeff Jones. He can definitely surprise you. The relentless one chasing down Alec Honnadale as they head up the hill here. Alec trying to max out the angle as he enters outer zone number two. Yeah, using all the course, Jeff Jones really having a difficult time there in the horseshoe. Alec popping off on that front clip in the horseshoe. Nice, smooth consistency down the hill as Alec Honnadale, Jeff Jones doing his best, but just a little bit overmatched here against Honnadale. A strong performance. Look at him powering up the hill. But watch right here. You'll see Jeff Jones make a correction. Ugh, unfortunate for Jones, but he will now lead as Alec Honnadale gives chase. One more opportunity here for Jeff Jones as he takes the lead. Alec will chase him down as both drivers come into this initiation. Jeff Jones, that dock, he's in a turbocharged V8 S14. Into that first front clip, Alec right there, 91.7 miles per hour. Nice and tight and a little love tap right there by Alec Honnadale. Some separation here as he tries to close the door, entering outer zone number two. Like I said, you look at the speed, 91.7 miles per hour. That's the slowest we've seen in top 16. So Alec is just chomping at the bit, just clamoring to get at Jeff Jones. Nice movement here, and look at Alec tucking in on that transition right there. Great job by this young driver. Yeah, look at Alec Condell from start to finish, and there's that contact you talked about, Ryan. But kudos to Jeff Jones for staying in it. Let's look at the Universal Technical Institute judging results. And there it is. Alec Honnadale gets the win. So in top 16, went up against Jeff Jones. Uh, had a little bit of carnage, you know, had a good lead run, uh, turned it into the follow, bumped up a little on entry, and then we both kept going and ended up getting the win. Well, we're seeing some exciting driving here. And look at this. Look who's back. Tanner Faust, two-time Formula Drift champion, is back at it again with his Rockstar engine Volkswagen Passat. He was here last year, and he's going against Kenny Moen in that Got Bill BMW. And Kenny Moen looking great this weekend, one of the fastest cars on track. Both guys coming into initiation. Tanner Faust wrapping around that first inside clip. One of the heaviest vehicles in the Formula Drift grid is Tanner Faust. Oh. And Kenny Moen, one of the fastest. This is, oh, and look at this. Kenny Moen shuts it down. Well, it looks like the damage caused to Kenny Mullen's car was from hitting that inside clip very hard. I have to imagine that there was some sort of damage right there that took place. And unfortunately for Kenny Mullen, he'll be sitting on a zero. Tanner Faust powers through the rest of it. Well, it looks like Kenny fixed his car. He's back on the start line. 
Here we go. Kenny Mullen will now lead Tanner Faust with that advantage. We'll be giving chase. Tanner Faust giving him a little bit of room here. He knows that Kenny Mullen's got a big challenge ahead of him here. Great angle by Kenny, though. Yeah, 101 miles per hour, maxing out the angle. Line up those Achilles, Tanner Faust. I'd like to see him get a little bit closer here. Well, unfortunate for Kenny in that run number one, you can see just how exciting he is. Those quick flicks back and forth and pulling a big gap on Tanner Faust. Man, if Kenny put it together like this on his first run, it might have gone one more time, might even got the victory. But in this instance, you saw that first run taking himself out. Tanner Faust hanging tough. It looks like he'll be advancing on as we look. Universal Technical Institute judging results. And the golden child, Tanner Faust, advances on. I knew on the lead run I needed to nail one down. It was a pretty good run. Um, something happened behind. I, his bumper went under and, and damaged his car, so we got a zero on that run. Second run, I needed to give him a little bit of space. I didn't know how fast the car was, but I gave him maybe too much space. And I really tried to attack and get up there, and I couldn't. I mean, he was, he was really, really fast. Um, but ultimately, I ended up getting the win because of his zero. Well, here we go, 2013 Formula Drift champion Michael Essa, who's back behind the wheel of a BMW that took him to that championship, is going against a Formula Drift pro rookie uh, from Northern California, Farouk Kage. Well, here we go, Michael Essa coming down through the chicane, already accelerating quickly down the hill and getting into initiation. Lighten up those Achilles radials as the loudmouth exhaust firing off 100 miles oh! per hour, and there goes Farouk into the kitty litter, Ryan. Well, Farouk just overestimates his speed coming down into turn one, allowing Michael Essa to sail all the way through to the finish line. Well, Michael Essa will have the obvious advantage here. Farouk coming in hot and then just slides it on in. Look at that. Whoa. Narrowly escaping some damage there to the vehicle. Let's switch it up. Farouk will lead. Who's seated 30th against Michael Essa, who's going to be chasing him down. One more chance for Farouk as he takes the lead here. Middle line initiates. Not a very fast rate to angle. Michael Essa eyeing him up. 91.7 miles per hour, way down on the MPH. Farouk struggling there. Maintain, now throws it in. Great angle, but Michael Essa is right there. Michael Essa looking strong here, even though Farouk has a zero. Staying tight as they wrap around that inside clip, and Essa comes through the smoke line. Farouk definitely a passionate and eager driver. You see sometimes his passion gets the best of him. Originally from Poland, now residing in Northern California. Definitely some promising things from Farouk, but unfortunately just didn't come together for him here against Essa. As we look at the Universal Technical Institute judging results, Michael Essa gets the win. So first run, I uh, ran with uh, Farouk. I led, had a good run. I think he spun behind me. Second run, got on his door, stayed with him, felt great, and uh, we're moving on. Formula Drift on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Universal Technical Institute. Chosen by industry, ready to work. By FormulaD.com. For merchandise, tickets, and series information, head to FormulaD.com. By Nitto Tire, fueled by enthusiasts. And by Blackview, over the cloud. Welcome back to Formula Drift here as the cloud fills the signature turns here of this great track. The fans are psyched. This is our final battle of the top 16. Two iconic drivers, Daijiro Yoshihara in his Subaru BRZ against Mad Mike Wadet, sweet ass bro, in his quad rotor Rad Bull. Two veteran competitors of the Formula Drift series taking each other on here in the top 16. Who's going to move on into the grade eight? Real nimble, quick battle here. Dai Yoshihara initiates 101 miles per hour. Nice job, Mad Mike right in the mix. Dai looking pretty settled here in that BRZ. You can see a little bit of angle loss right there by Mad Mike, and Dai comes into that turn just a little bit early. Mad Mike gaining the proximity. He is on the door of that turn 14. Falcon tire BRZ and Mad Mike line up the nittles trying to catch up here. Nice and consistent out front is Daijiro Yoshihara with just that one mistake up in the horseshoe. Mad Mike trying to do his best to stay on proximity. Riding on the roof of that Red Bull MX-5 of Mad Mike with debt, applying the pressure. Let's change it up. Mad Mike will lead. Dai Yoshihara will give chase. Dai getting out of the gate early here, trying to stay close to Mad Mike as they enter initiation. Mike coming down the hill, whips it in. Oh, and a little bit of a flub there by Mike. And you see Dai Yoshihara, even a little wobble from him. Mike tapping that front clip, coming up the hill. Let's see how they do, Ryan. Nice throttle control by Mad Mike with debt as Dai tries to close the door. Mike coming into the second outer zone. Two great sounding vehicles, two gladiators of the asphalt here. As look at the smoke, you can barely see them. Obviously, you see the headlights. Ryan, this is going to be a tough one to call. Both of them had minor mistakes here and there. Well, much better job by Mike on this second run. With the consistency coming up the hill, he's able to fill that second outer zone, but Dai stayed with him. Let's go to the judging results on the Universal Technical Institute judging results card. And there it is one more time. 
They're going at it again, Ryan. I couldn't agree more. Like I said, just tight and right. That's what the judges want to see. Dayo Shihara will lead. Mad Mike with it. We'll give chase. Well, here we go with this one more time battle. Daijiro Yoshihara, nice initiation there. Mike trying to stay close. Both drivers nice and tight on that inside clip. You see Dayo Shihara very settled, and Mad Mike drops into formation. This is a dogfight here as they go into the horseshoe. Much better job right there by Dai as he goes deep into that second outer zone. But look at Mad Mike staying close. These guys definitely stepping it up, not leaving the judges' hands as Dayo Shihara, ooh, almost getting some contact there as they head back around that final clip. Well, you can see from the driver's perspective just how challenging it is to drive through that smoke line just going off muscle memory as Mad Mike Wadette. Rock and roll, here we go. Mad Mike Wadette will now lead the seated 11th as Dayo Shihara will give chase. Second run here. Dai chasing down Mad Mike with debt. Nice job by Mike. Nice and tight on that inside clip. Mad Mike transitioning up the hill. A lot more composure by compared to his previous runs. Dai Shihara up next on Mad Mike's door. Dai surging here, wrapping around that second inside clip. Now going downhill. Dai needs to close the door if he wants to get the win. Ryan, this is a tough one to call. Heading back up. Break it down here in this replay. Well, a really close battle, but you can see Dai surging here, and Mad Mike fails to go as deep into that second outer zone. Going to be a tough one to call, Ryan, as we go to the Universal Technical Institute, judging results, and look at that unanimously. Dai gets the win. Uh, it was close. I thought it, it was going to be another one more time, but uh, I guess I slightly got it, so I moved on to top eight. Super happy. It was a great battle, super fun, uh, and just glad to be here. Well, Ryan and Formula Drift fans, the great eight is set. Some former champions and some gentlemen that could shake things up as far as the advanced auto parts road to the championship presented by Gum Out. Here's some sights and sounds of Formula Drift Road Atlanta. Be sure to catch the next round and the continuation of Formula Drift here at round two. In association with Formula Drift, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.